So I was going to wait a while before I did the next in my series on anarcho-capitalism, but there were just so many responses on the video I made, I thought I'd make this early. Now today I won't be drinking wine slushy. I'll be drinking some nice cerveza, you know, to give me that fiery Latin spirit that I'm going to need to get through this one. This installment I'm going to call Sell Me, Motherfucker! Sell it! Sell it hard! Okay, now, it's going to be two-part. Look, I've got a rat baby. This will also help keep me calm. Aww, look. Anyway, there's two problems with the whole anarcho-capitalist paradigm as I see it, and maybe it's just because I haven't stumbled onto the right website and literature. But I haven't seen anything, A, describing a plausible economic paradigm that could actually function in a manner that would allow us to maintain the quality of lifestyle we currently enjoy, and B, a plausible mechanism by which it could be implemented. Now, we'll get to the plausible mechanism of implementation in my next video, should I make one, and I may not. Let's go with feasible economic paradigm. Okay, I mean, I can even gloss over a few really important things and still have plenty of problems. Like, uh, for one, without a state, the concept of money is kind of meaningless. Let me, let me just detail what I mean here. Suppose we discovered a new island nation that had been existing for years and years that we had never heard of. They have their own economy, right? They grow their own food, they have their own services, they have their own technology, they have their own resources, and they have their own money, okay? Now, upon discovering this nation, could we immediately start trading with them using our current monetary system? Well, the answer would be no, because a monetary system is standardized units of value that are determined for a given economy. Now, we can trade with other nations because we have a way of translating these standardized units from one to another and adjusting for differences or inflation, deflation, uh, uh, just deflections of the market, okay? But first we have to have an understanding of the relative distribution of resources within that economy and therefore the relative value of them and then be able to translate the standardized value of their economy to the standardized value of another economy. Okay, so if we don't have a state, then, well, let's just put it simply, who prints the money, motherfucker? Uh, and at this point, you, there's going to be some Ron Paul people. Aw, oh, sweet baby. Oh, I'm sorry if I'm scaring you. It's, it's the anarcho-capitalists. They, they have these silly ideas, and they're just too lazy to sell them to me. They just think I'm going to buy that shit sight unseen. I don't know. Like, they think I'm some sort of mark, a rube, a chump, a sucker. Anyway, I'm sorry. I lost... Look at this. It's hard to keep track of what you're saying when you have one of these. I better go put them up. Okay, so let's just totally gloss over how fiat currency could not possibly work in a stateless society, and let's also gloss over the massive, massive logistical impossibility of using gold as a standardized currency in a stateless society where it's basically everybody acting as a free agent. Essentially, it would have to go to bar... No, no, forget about that. Forget about it. Let's just forget that entirely despite it being vitally fucking important and pretend that somehow money is t just as meaningful. Like, without the government, without the state, like... It's just a thing. Like, we'll just take that as a given. Like, money is like a thing with its own existence. Okay. Explain to me how the free market uh, can maintain an infrastructure. Things like power, water, uh, sanitation, roads. Now, I ask this of some people, and they say, say things like, uh, well, if the government currently distributed food, you might ask, how is it impossible to, uh, or how would it be possible to have a private free market system that uh, gave us food? You would say things like, uh, the poor people would starve. And at this point, to return to my central thesis, listen, you motherfucker, I am not the one saying that this shit will work, okay? It's not my job to figure out how it will work. You have to sell it to me. 
Okay? If, let, let, let's say a guy is selling this thing door to door. He's like, hey, listen to this. I have a device that will take your garbage and wastewater and convert it into blowjobs and champagne, and it is so energy efficient that it will actually produce electricity. And at this point, I would say, gee, that sounds amazing. Uh, could you tell me how it works? And he says, oh, well, it's a, uh, you know, it's a uh, you know, well-known uh, champagne and blowjob technology. Uh, you know, the principles of energy efficiency. As a sort of, uh, it's like, you're not selling it, man. you got to tell me how that shit works, because I'm not buying it. I'm not just going to buy that shit. It doesn't sound like something that could work. you got to tell me how it works, or you got to show me that it works. Or you got to show me an example of it working. At the very least, give me some sort of plausible motherfucking mechanism, okay? You're the one selling it. you you got to tell me how it works. Let me explain. Okay, let's say there's a free market for electricity. Well, okay, I'm going to go buy me some electricity with this money that magically has its own meaning without the government. Uh, I'm going to magically buy some electricity. Oh, I'm shopping around for an electricity company. I better get something close because my ass has to pay for the power lines that I am going to build between me and it with my magical currency. So I do that. At this point... <laughs> you know, I I make a deal with this power company. I'm like, here, I'm going to buy some power from you. And they're like, well, okay, here's some power. Oh, by the way, uh, I'm going to go ahead and triple the rate that I'm charging. At this point, I'm like, shit. Now I've got to buy, I have to buy the materials to make an entire new set of fucking power lines to the next guy because I'm into free market. I can go, I can definitely go purchase power from somebody else. It's just those power lines. Somebody's got to pay for them. And it's not going to be them. And even if it is them, they're probably going to charge me a lot, so it's going to end up costing me. So, I mean, is it really a free market? And then the roads. I mean, okay, we're going to have, like, some sort of uh, private road system. Well, do you suppose that the people that pay, like, somebody's going to be like, damn, I could really use some roads. All right, I'm going to hire this guy to build some roads. Uh, just one road from where I live to where I work. Okay, forgetting the whole money problem that I, it's just, it, it doesn't work. Okay, but the thing is, I mean, I can, I mean, you have to tell me how this works, okay? You, you're the one saying it'll work. You can't just say, oh, we're slaves to the system, we're, we're just owned by the government. Why should we have to pay a certain amount of taxes which are extracted from us by force, by the threat of fucking jail? Well, think about this. Let's say we live in sort of a free market system and one vital service that must be performed is a certain management and standardization that we pay for but it just so happens that uh, this management and standardization is forced upon us to be sure but we also wouldn't want to live without it so <laughs> it's not that unreasonable that the people providing the service would extract the payment for said service by force since if they didn't it is highly doubtful that people would just opt to pay for this shit people would drive on the roads people would use the they'd pay for the power but they they'd use the power lines the water system <laughs> do, do, do you see what i'm saying it's but even forgetting that, how's it going to work? How's the free market going to do this shit? It's not a goddamn genie. You have to tell me how it's going to work. Sell it, motherfucker, sell it! Thank you.